So welcome to this video. I'm talking today with Damien. Damien is actually an expat who is traveling around the world for a little bit. He has been living in the Netherlands for 13 years right now. And he is actually from France. So he came to a clinic and he was nice enough to help us with a couple of questions. So basically Damien, what, uh, what were the exact problems that you had with your teeth? So the problem I had with my teeth, let's say in the last 20 years, I haven't, um, I haven't had regular checkups. I've been a bit uh, lacking uh, maintenance, let's say, and I needed uh, uh, two of my teeth were broken and needed to be replaced by crowns, and some of all the older fillings uh, needed to be uh, repaired and refixed with a new crown. I also need uh, one implant in a tooth that is completely gone and uh, a general cleaning and uh, uh, let's say uh, a main checkup to see and fix everything that is broken. So I'm here in, in Albania uh, in class dance to do <coughs> uh, four crowns, one implant and uh, general cleaning. What exactly happened when you needed to do the pre-consults? What happened online? Uh, so I, I got directly on the phone with, um, with uh, Kevin, who, um, who set me up about, well, I, I made some photos because I couldn't get an x-ray done. I made some photos so he could discuss directly with, uh, with his mother. And then uh, he could advise directly what could be seen on the photos. You could advise already what would be needed and uh, what could be done. Uh, of course, to be confirmed once the X ray is done. And uh, we've been having like a very easy conversation, uh, like estimating how many, uh, well, what kind of treatments were needed and what kind of time time frame would be needed for it. And uh, based on that, we could just set some dates, and uh, I could book my flights to come on. Okay. So basically, what uh, before you could come here, you know, you told us a little bit more about what they needed to do to you. But how did the preparation for your side look like? Was there any things that you need to do to come here? What was hard for you? Uh, it was very simple to organize. As soon as I discussed with the, with the team here to understand what would need to be done and how long it would take, I could just basically check um, potential flights I could take and. Once we set up about four days here to do all the treatments, uh, I just booked my flights and accommodation was arranged by the team here. Pickup from the airport was also arranged by the team, so uh, it was very easy, uh, a very easy process. Yeah. Also, the time frame given for availability. I mean, um, once we we had decided what needed to be done, I could have come the next day basically. So. They were very available and uh, very accommodating as well on, on, on the dates. Okay, so actually how long did it take you to travel? Uh, so the flight from Netherlands is about two and a half hours. Uh, let's say it's about uh, half an hour driving from Tirana Airport to come here. Uh, so uh, it took me uh, half, half a day to arrive here. Mm. So the, the longest part was actually in the airport, uh, on departure, not on arrival. Yeah. Okay, so they also did like your your taxi. They already they fixed for you. Yes, right? yes. I had someone waiting for me at the airport and picked me up uh, straight uh, from the uh, from the, the airport. So they brought you from the airport in Tirana to Duras, and then they offered you an accommodation. What is your experience with that? Uh, it's very convenient. The hotel is just across the street. Uh, it has the whole amenities you would expect from an hotel. It's, it's brand new, very comfortable, uh, very good air conditioning for a summer. It's very appreciable. Uh, the fact that it's just across the street is very convenient for uh, the appointments I have in the morning. Uh, we're also 50 meters away from the seaside, so 
Yeah, could it be good? So basically, after you came into the accommodation, you needed to come to the clinic on the first day, I think, right? Yes. So, what was your impression of the clinic when you saw it in real life? Uh, it was uh, it was exactly as I saw on the websites. I mean, it's a very bright and uh, bright brand new clinic. It's well equipped. So when I arrived, I just started straight with uh, doing an X-ray. So they had this 360 machine very convenient, and within a few minutes. Uh, they could explain to me from the x-ray what would need to be done and verify that uh, they could actually uh, do all the treatments. How is your balance between free time and the treatment time actually organized right now? Uh, so far uh, I've been, we've been busy a bit in the morning so the treatments there's a lot to do but we've been busy uh, let's say uh, half of the morning and uh, I'm free the rest of the day basically. So, so for, for four, four days you mean? Uh, for four days, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you need to be in Duras for four days, it's not that you can easily go to the mountains or something, that's not in this trip? Um, no, I didn't plan that way because I didn't know uh, exactly uh, what would be needed in terms of time frame and uh, this is also, uh, let me rephrase, I didn't know what to expect in terms of pain. So I didn't want to plan too much for the holidays. Since we are next, next uh, from the seaside, uh, I just thought uh, I would have the treatments and then I could chill by the sea uh, the rest of the time. Okay, and have you been looking at the seaside already? Did you like the beach? Uh, yes, so it's very nice. I mean, so far from what I saw from the, from the cities, you have this very long esplanade along the, the seaside where you can find bars or restaurants. Um, you have some beach where you can, uh, you can uh, uh, rent also uh, umbrellas. Uh, I haven't been far enough so far to see the other spots, but uh, um, well, everything is right at the corner. So, yeah. Then we are going to the last question for now. So I want to already thank you for your collaboration, of course. Uh, what would you say to patients in the Netherlands that are thinking about booking their trip or looking for an international dentist that are hesitating right now? Uh, I think it's fair to hesitate, but uh, as an expatriate, uh, I've been living in different countries and you never know what to expect in terms of standards uh, in the country you live until you experience them. Um, I have no concern at all myself because I live in different countries on what to expect, uh, uh, whether it's here in Albania or could be Croatia. Italy or uh, Netherlands. Something I'd like to insist on is the way I've been received here. Uh, well, um, I've been super well received and uh, well, I don't regret uh, my, my trip so far at all. Mm. And I was even thinking uh, maybe that sounds stupid, but uh, well, if you get a new customer as a dentist, this could be a, a customer for a lifetime. Uh, I wouldn't mind coming back uh, every year or so on holidays. And, they have a check done if necessary. Yeah, that's what a lot of people actually do. Yeah. We see, uh, I've been talking with Americans last yeah. week, a couple, yeah. and actually they every year fly to Albania for, you know, for holiday, yes. and they do the big treatments, they yeah. do everything what they need to do, yeah. and they still are able to save money somehow. Yeah. So basically, the flight from the States there and yeah. to go back, it's like 2,000 euros. With some holidays, uh, there's still probably a, a good deal for them. Yeah. Alright, so maybe we are going to ask you for, uh, for another short interview when everything is done, when yeah. we are a couple of months further, you know. And yeah. um, for now, thank you for your time, yes? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.